If you guys know what that is, put it in the comments, and the winner will get Leland. Go f*** yourself. <laughs>
yeah, honestly, if it didn't have two actors that we really liked and were interested in, I would I would have gone, okay, it's not a great trailer, it's not a bad trailer. I, I need I need more. I'm I would lean toward it, but yeah, yeah, this is but, all about stupid babies saying watch it. But we know Vidya from uh, Kahani, and then we also saw her in Bulbula, and, and especially the last part of Bulbula, which we we enjoyed. Yeah, uh, she's a really really talented actress, and we like her a lot. Yep. And we know we have not explored her enough, obviously. Yes. Right. We need to. No, <laughs> uh, we need to explore her more. So if this should be the next one, you can let us know. Um, but it looks like it'd be one of those that would have a lot of good musical numbers in it, though. Well, and it is based on the true person here. So, right? Didn't you say that? That's what it yeah, was. Uh, the, South Indian actress. Is true. Yeah, so it's South so, Indian actress. So I I also wonder how South Indians feel about this. If it's like if it's a yeah, South Indian okay. actress, how did she do in terms of? Uh, portraying this actress because I know people are very very picky in terms of the accents obviously in terms of like uh, different regions which we can't pick up on but I know you can it's like if we heard a Boston accent and it was a bad one like Benedict Cumberbatch in uh, what was the film Rick Uh, 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 yeah um, it it was in uh, uh, the movie with Spotlight no Johnny Depp's film it wasn't it was it wasn't Spotlight no he wasn't in Spotlight. Where he plays the Bostonian? Yeah. He plays no. the Bostonian? And it's, it's, it's awful. It's, it's yeah, his accent. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, it's, Johnny, it's the Johnny's gangster film. film with Johnny Depp. Yeah. John Dillon. No, he's not playing John Dillinger in that one. He's playing, um, I don't know why I can't remember them. Anyways, it's the one where he played. But Benedict Cumberbatch is in it, and he has a Boston accent. And it's a terrible Boston accent. Terrible. And so that's obviously something Americans can pick up on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. in, in so India, if you're if you're a, a Hindi actor playing a South Indian actor, like I think one also like Ranveer did a, a Mumbai accent. I don't know if he's from Mumbai, but um, I always hear like Indians talking about, oh, she did a great Bengali accent. She did a great, or she did a terrible, yes. um, whatever accent. Punjabi or even accent. regional regional appearances, we're beginning to recognize as well because India is such a vast, expansive place that there's definitive physical attributes of people from certain regions and she's obviously playing a real woman so please those of you who knew her loved her and uh it's up to you stupid babies to determine if this is a watch for us yeah should this be in our next video film um because let's see because she has kahani which we've seen as you know um but carry on by the married woman i'm just seeing what what her top billing is on her on her imdb because we haven't mm. uh, explored her enough, obviously. We've seen, what, two films of hers? Um, <laughs> I think that's actually accurate, yeah, two films. <laughs> oh, we know another, so, much of, so much about her. There's another one which I, I know a lot of people like, and it, it was a controversy behind it, but No One Killed Jessica, uh, I know, was an acclaimed film. We've reacted to the trailer for that <clears> one <throat> a, a while ago. Um. But yeah, you can you guys can let us know because we we enjoy her. We think she's a really talented actress. It'd be interesting because Nasserdin Shah was also playing a very character role in this, not like a father figure, big stoic old man. He was playing like a character in this. Very interesting. Never seen him like that. That would be very interesting to see because he's one of the he's like he's like Michael Caine in my eyes. Like mm-hmm. he is always amazing. And like it, he, he he can't put in a bad performance. That's how he is in my right. brain. Like uh, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine. Um, who else is in that um, in that category now um, of just old actors who are just always incredible. But you want a great supporting character who will be the rock in your film. Those are the ones you go to. Totally but, agree with you. Wait, when would? Because obviously he was young at one point in his life, right? Um, no. <laughs> He was nope. he, he 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 like many people was born at the age of fifty. Some people it feels like that though. Like I'm a talk. It's I, true. I know we don't know him that way because obviously we saw Sholay, but like Amitak Bakshan is perpetually just an old man to us because that's how we got introduced to him. But also like um, Steve Martin has been perpetually fifty years old for his entire life, right? It's true. <laughs> like Steve Martin it, was it, never. It's true. He was never young. <laughs> no. And you're absolutely right. He was always in his fifties. That's how that's how Nasser and Shaw feels to me. Like he's he's, I agree. Always, he's always incredible. Like in in uh, what was it, um, McBool, 
where he was like mm-hmm. he was one of the two uh, guys with him and I think it was Ompori, right? Yes. And he was playing this weird character, but like he's always just been this really good actor who's just always been old in my eyes. Anyways, but let me know how this film was. <laughs> not not his oldness. You don't have to comment on that. Uh, <laughs> but let me know how this film is. Should it be a watch for us down below? Our stupid reactions. Tune in for.